We're inside location at the Comet Warriors over here in the Keller, Texas area, and we're going to talk to Melanie Cohn, who is the voice, or one of the voices, of Lucy from the Peanuts Gang, and she's here signing in store. We're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to talk to her, ask her a few questions about just being the voice of Lucy. One of the many voices of Lucy, the fifth voice of Lucy from the Peanuts Gang. If you if you don't know the Peanuts Gang, where have you been? They've been around since the 60s, I believe? Yes. Yes, and to this day, you can still see all the specials. You can go back and watch a lot of the reruns. There's a lot of current stuff going out. But as we get into that, we are with, again, the fifth voice of Lucy, Miss... Melanie Cohn. And she is here at the Comic Warriors in the Keller, Texas area. She's signing autographs. And she's also going to be at the... Um, you're going to be somewhere else before Cowtown Con, uh, Horror Con, right? Albuquerque. Albuquerque as well. So she's traveling. She's everywhere. So if you have never met Lucy, and again, if you're like, Lucy, 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 just think of any episode where Lucy is holding the football and Charlie Brown's ready to go kick it. And as he goes for the kick, she pulls it away and flop. There goes Charlie. <laughs> How did you get started? How did it begin where you became the voice of Lucy or one of the voices of Lucy? Well, my father uh, signed my sister and myself up at a casting agency in San Francisco. And my sister auditioned with a lot of other girls, and she got the part. Okay. So she voiced Lucy prior to me. And uh, what happened was girls retired about 12 years old, and they just stopped calling you. They don't tell you you're retired. They mm. just stop calling you. So they stopped. One day the phone rang, and they were asking about me instead of my sister. So I did audition for Sally and Lucy, okay. and they said my voice was too high for Lucy and too low for Sally. And they said, well, my voice was my voice quality was similar to my sister's. So they said that they would work me into Lucy, and I believe I I did the most shows of any Lucy because of that. I started kind of early. Okay, fun, fun. So you could have been Sally as well. I could have been, but my voice was too low. She was supposed to sound a little bit younger, and I was nine or ten. Okay, and and not picked for Snoopy. I guess. No, Snoopy was done by Bill Mel okay. Bill uh, Melendez, who was the director. Okay. Now, who was um, Woodstock? Bill Melendez. Oh wow, well. that was one that I was always like, wow, what is? I can't understand how something he's saying, but a question that I've been always wondering: Can you do a little bit of the Lucy herself? I can. Is there anything in particular you want me to say? Anything if you want to. Good grief, Charlie Brown. You blockhead. <laughs> no, blockheads are fun. Are there any um, roles, either from then or now, of characters that you would have liked to have done besides Lucy? But That's a really good question. I would have loved to do Bart Simpson. <laughs> I'd probably be a millionaire. Oh. <laughs> you, you, can you do any Bart Simpson? Uh, no. <laughs> oh, I, you know, I've done, you got me on the spot there because I've done some impressions that I have no idea how they sound. Yeah. I just love to do them. I love doing voices. Whenever I read to my kids when they were little, I always did the different voices. Yeah? Yeah. Hey, so Bart Simpson. If you would like to show our audience the titles you were a part of, that way they know. You can even go back and watch. So, it's a mystery, Charlie Brown. Be My Valentine, Charlie Brown. You're a good sport, Charlie Brown. And it's the Easter Beagle, Charlie Brown. And then they called me back to do a full-length movie, Race for Your Life, Charlie Brown. Now, these uh, half-hour, 22-minute total mm -hmm. shows took six months to make back then because they were all hand-drawn, hand-painted. And they did the voices first, and then they did the, um, the animation to match the voices. Mm. So it took a long time back then. Wow. And then I'm not sure how long it took to make a 90 minute, approximately 90 minute movie, uh, which of course it's uh, a movie, it doesn't have commercials, but um, this probably took a long time. Oh yeah. Long, much longer than six months. That does, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you were telling us off camera that you started around the age of nine, was it? Or, nine, ten. nine or 10. Wow. What, what was that like? I mean, what was that? Was there any, like a pressure or any kind of like nervous? Nerve, no. you know? I actually started stage acting when I was three. So oh. I, maybe that helped. Okay. And, um, and the, the only other thing that I did that was I was an extra in The Godfather, the first Godfather, nice. when I was about eight, seven or eight. 
so, and I loved it. I just remember loving it. I absolutely loved it. Of course, in stage acting, you get a little nervous at the beginning. In, in anything, you get nervous, and then as you get into it, then the nervousness kind of goes away. Um, I don't, I, they made me feel so comfortable. The producer, Lee Mendelson, was awesome. The director, Bill Melendez. We, we didn't do these, uh, the voices together. We didn't go in the studio together. Oh, wow. So Bill Melendez would do the other voice of who was I talking to. And then we do a few words at a time, which you can tell sounds choppy when you listen to mm -hmm. it. Um, so that's how, that's how they did it back then. Um, I, I believe at the beginning, when they first started doing these shows, they did go in the studio together, but then they, they switched it to going having the kids go. Would you like to see a Charlie Brown, maybe a special or even a full length, kind of like the Peanuts that they just did, but more of if they were adults? Would that sound interesting to you? If they were grown up? I think the thing about Peanuts is um, that it's you know a timeless classic mm -hmm. that they don't grow up, mm -hmm. and I think you know the grown ups are portrayed with a, a trombone saying "wong wong." Uh, Everybody yeah. knows that. Um, <laughs> And I think that um, you know this is this is a reflection of Charles Schultz, and um, you know, and of course, all the characters are, are um, he, he molded them after people that he knew in his life, and. I think that, um, I, I just, I don't think it would be the same. I, I think that this was made the way it was, and I think with him not being with us anymore, um, it, it might not be something that he would have wanted. Yeah, yeah, which it's great the way it is. I do uh, comic stores like this in between, so uh, there's always something popping up, okay. and uh, you know, you can get all the information on, on my Facebook page. There you go, give her a follow. If you're in the areas where she'll be, you know, visit her table, buy her stuff, get some autographs. It's Lucy for crying out loud. And maybe she'll hold a football for you one day and pull it away from you as you try and kick it. And get a picture of that while you're smiling and she's in the background waving. I am going to start uh, a store on my page because okay. so people have the opportunity if they want to buy something. Um, and if they're not able to go to the city where I am, or if you know we're not able to travel for a while, or we don't, we just don't know. So I'm, I'm going to do that just to have supplement what's, you know, what's mm -hmm. going on with the. Yeah, with the it makes it easier for people that if they're not in the area, they can purchase it and they can have it shipped to them. Yeah, good idea. That works for me. But again, thank you for your time, and we really appreciate you taking the minute and talking with us. And again, one of the voice, the fifth voice of Lucy. Miss Melanie Cohen, thank you for being here and again taking time with us. Thank you. Appreciate you. you. of Lucy and you can find me at Melanie Cohn voice artist for Lucy Van Pelt on Facebook and I also want to tell you join the retro fun house